Five is forty-two. That's the white there. Serious. It's count for from Ethiopia. You back call it Akunfon. It, it makes noise. Everyone one hour. Everyone one hour. Yes. <laughs> you have lion here. Yeah? We have sir. Nice, nice, nice. That is serious. One. And uh, reinforce. And uh, <laughs> 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 and we got and we got them when they were very young, so they are used to us. They can't survive outside. They can't survive outside. So that is the lion. Yeah, this is spotted lion. Can do. One big man needs more man. It's more man will buy it. Bring them all out. Tie them to the ground. You can count with them. The basic about it. So you don't need to get to university tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> One day, one, one day I will come uh, no, then when to you, learn. Yeah, yeah, you just to learn to, how to count the, <laughs> the age of animals. <laughs> and that is a chimpanzee, a very friendly one for that man. Yes, we brought him to in when he was two months old. So that's why he can he can afford to. Adam's come. And this is Adam. And as been, Adam has been the friend for all the children around when they come. This is who they snap pictures with. So, and um, <laughs> and uh, when Adam is a year more, because it's a year three months now, when he's, a, when he's about three years, it will be difficult for 16 men to get hold of him. 16? Yes, 15 men. Strong. 15 wrestlers, don't know say 15 women men, 15 real men. But then, I won't be the one carrying him, he will be the one carrying him horse. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm happy that we've had yeah. uh, that the governor will be coming around. We just uh, want to come and uh, ensure that. Uh,
that is what we are all about in Origin Gardens. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Prince Abila Kusoko. I'm the CEO of Origin Gardens. Origin Gardens came into inception some, some two years, seven months ago. And since then, we started gradually. And it's a one-man business thing. But the focus and the target for Origin Garden is to create an enabling environment for tourism to get its own stands, not just only in Nikodu, but Lagos in general. To create over 5,000 uh, 5, people, uh, employment opportunities for 5,000 people. And that has been our major uh, focus. But for now, Origin Garden is just in two phases. The realization center armed with a bar and restaurant. The museum is also going to come onto, uh, is also coming into existence. Um, the museum is going to be called uh, Lagos Historical Museum. It's a museum that if you are not there, you are not in Lagos. And apart from that, um, our target is just to create job opportunities. Let people do what they know to do best without supervision. And that is what we are trying to do. But now we're standing. We are seeking for sponsorship, support from government and non-governmental organizations to make sure that tourism continues to thrive. And we will continue to do this until we've been able to get this necessary support. I also want to thank the Ministry of Environment because they've been the one around us. And for every time we always give them the glory because they've done better. They've done better and for better we will continue to stand with them. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Bad. How are you? And my wife. How are you? The manager. And um, James. And this is the ambassador. Hello, the ambassador of World Animal Day. How are you doing? Yeah. So, this is the place, sir. And right here you have the, the zoo. Just unfortunately that you are coming I in. I think you're going to talk about this. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes, so yes. Yes, uh, yes. this is the senator for World Animal Day. They've chosen Origin Garden as the only point where they will meet for every year. October 4th, every year. And this is the ambassador to World Animal Day. His name is Ambassador Ido, Stephen Ido. So that is him. And that is the status. They meet here for once in a year. So we are very, very honored to have them here too. So, sir, we'll take you in here. And uh, because we are doing the innovation work, so we we'll remove most of our animals. Yeah, but first, we what is this? The one you like called Irek. And this is the crocodile and the alligator. So this one is the crocodile. Seven years old and they are the alligator. The youngest among the alligators there is three years old. And the oldest is 13 years old. Now, because of the heat. Yes. Yes. We have an account for 71. He is 71 and she is 42. We know how to calculate too. We can also teach the government. We can teach His Excellency how to calculate what you want. So we have the cockpit. I think the cockpit is from Ethiopia. Somebody donated it to us. And yeah, the one you remember called Abu Fumbi. Okay. Yeah. And this one is the. My name is. What we're doing is we're taking things back because since you're coming here, we want to do things gradually. We're doing it gradually. Being the one man thing. Everybody's coming to at least assist him. And uh, it's four years ago. What's your name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, right here, sir, uh, we have a, we have a big boy. Big boy is a lion. We brought him in when he was just two months old. Yes, yeah. Yes, we, have, we brought him when he was two months old. And it's three years, three months now. It's three years, two months now. 
Okay, yes, and we are expecting him to be at least go to that age of um, maybe 30, I mean at 24, 25. He's a male, eh? He's a male, yes. Ah. A male. No female? No female. No, because we have the female. It's in our casino team center. But because we can't afford to keep more than one animal. For one and one lion. Yeah, no, more than one lion. Because it costs us 51,000 to feed him a week, a month. So, you know, we have to cut our coat according to our size. Yes, sir. So, and there we have our... Uh, yeah, that is in that chamber. Yeah, when he eats, it eats, it takes a good for a week. And we give him supplementary diet of um, an intestine of a full goods. Once, I mean, twice a week, every week. To make him so, and um, he's healthy, very healthy. Very, very healthy. Yes, he's scared, no, he's scared of this. Yes, that's why you see, he's scared of it. How do you feel the good life? Yeah, what we do, we give him a good life. What we do, we give him to the chamber. We go to the chamber, we the goat here, and he comes and takes it. And after killing the goat, he takes the goat into the chamber. And there he will remain. To go and enjoy himself. Yes, he kills the goat. Because the blood is one thing that he requires most. Just like the tongue. And uh, right here we have the hyena. Hyena. Yes, this is a spotted hyena. There are three kind of hyena, but what we have is spotted. This one is economical to manage. Okay, sorry, sir. It's economical to manage. Unlike the uh, stripe or uh, brown, it's economical to manage. So this one is the hyena. It's every two days. But they eat bones, mostly bones. 80% bones. We uh, we used to have. Um, Okay, yes. This is uh this is this is this is one of the we have around. It's called Adams. Yes, it's called Adams. And Adams is a year, three months old. <laughs> yes, it's called Adams and Adams is the favorite of all the children that comes around. So they spend more time with Adams. So we're going to make Adams to be our research in the next couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that is a dance. And we have a Yeah, there is the what they call it. So we are trying to make that place a vet room. Because the people from UI said they would they would not like us to bring the animals here because of the distance, but they want to come in. Okay, so yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. But we're trying also to do it in uh, we want to go in conjunction with the University of Lagos. But we're not having it well now. Okay. Yeah, we lost animals. An ostrich. Yeah, an ostrich. Like so an ostrich. Yeah. Yes, we lost it due to negligence uh, of we told them that their fence is not solid enough. All the world they have to and they said to do something, but eventually we lost when the place collapsed. So since then we've not been able to just, we can't afford to get it anymore, yes. It costs us over, it's just to have it, that we have to get it. What if you have natural appetite? Maybe you have to. No, we cannot try it. We cannot try it. No, we cannot try it. No, we cannot try it. Give me some. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Give me that. Then we just definitely that will be a name that the children also want to see. Yes. Thank you very much. And um, yeah. 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 So, but eventually, what we want to do is to make sure that we build this place for certain level that we can also create a playing ground for the children because okay. our problem has been space. Okay. We had enough space initially, but people keep building on those places that it's meant for oh, it's what we're doing. There. Yeah, the snakes are there. Well, yeah, we have the snakes there. Yeah. This one is from UBC. It's a rotten fighter. What we keep, the snakes we keep here are snakes that if they bite, they will not hurt you because they don't have venom. Yes, and the other one is the usual one, the royal fighter that is called Mono Mono. Now, those are the things.